Mary Meet YouTube and I thought of this idea a while back and I want to know um, how many of you actually do this and I'm going to be explaining my experience with it um, momentarily um, is working with an entire pantheon. Now I know a few of you actually just work with certain uh, deities from certain pantheons, but I want to know if any of you actually work with an entire pantheon or have thought about working with an entire pantheon. Um, I myself actually work with the entire Norse pantheon as much as I can, save for a couple of them that are just kind of over there that I don't want to touch. Um, like, I work with like basically everyone in the criteria. If you look up Norse Pantheon, I work with everybody. Um, I work. I also work with Loki and his daughter Hel, which are falling that fall into the Pantheon. I don't work with any of her. I don't work with any other Loki kin besides Hel and Loki himself. Um, but I do, like I said, I work with the entire Norse Pantheon, and so far it's been a really, really just mind-blowing and eye-opening experience. It's like, at certain times, like, all of the, uh, like, certain ones will come to you and, like, want to help you and communicate with you, like, um, the more common ones I work with are Heimdall, Freya, Thor, Odin, and how now, more recently, I've been working with her a lot more, too. But I, it's like, at certain times, like certain Sabbaths, I'm always honoring the ones that are connected to that Sabbath or just in general with, with certain things. Like right now, since I'm pregnant, I'm working with Frigg a lot more and she is helping me with that process of becoming a mother and just through my pregnancy. And um, that has been a very pure and just wonderful experience as well. Um, I'm actually going to be recording a couple of, um, rituals for her, um, once I'm able to get all of my working stuff and not have it packed away. And, um, but also I work with Hunan and Munin, the crows of the, the eyes basically of Odin, and I also work with Gedi and Freki, his wolf familiars as well because I don't see why you can't work with them as well because they're they're essentially animal spirits I don't see why you can't work with them when ever there's other people that do work with animal spirits a lot so I honor them I have a candle for Hunan and Munin usually on my altar I now have something to give to Gideon and Freki as well as I'm going to be making them a candle and just all that kind of stuff. And, uh, working, like I said, working with an entire pantheon has been a very powerful experience because it feels like there's always someone there to talk to, to help you. Kind of like a giant family that just wants to help you grow and expand as your practice goes on and as you grow. Because no matter how old you are, you're still growing, you're still expanding, and they're always there to help you because they're eternal, they're never ending. So no matter their, your age, they're going to help build you up and help you realize certain things and have you go forth with your own ideals and your own thoughts about things. And that's actually helped my mindset a great deal. Because growing up, I never really had that huge fam supportive family. Like I said, growing up, I never had it. And now working with the entire Pantheon, it's like I do. And they're always there. And they don't judge. They don't do anything like that. That's why I connect with my Norse, her Norse heritage so much. It's because just their ideals, certain aspects about the culture and just everything like that actually screams in my head just like it makes complete sense and it always has that's why I never went to the Greeks that it just didn't
fit with me. Not that I don't respect them or anything. It just, it didn't, it was just never there. And I had said one time when I, before I started practicing to my witchy sister, Cory Thanatos, actually, I told her if I were ever to start practicing, because this was before I started, I, was, I, be, I labeled myself as pagan and started practicing. I said that if I worked with anything, if with any pantheon, it would be the Norse pantheon. And lo and behold, that is the core of my practice and will always be the core of my practice, no matter who I'm working with, because I'm a very eclectic witch. I work with a great deal of deities, Celtic, Egyptian, and just that's what I do. <laughs> but the Norse is my, the heart of me and just it just speaks to me and just all those deities have their different personalities, their different reasons for things and just they're all strong no matter who they are. They're all warriors in their own respect and they're strong. And a, a few of them are actually partial death gods too. Odin and Freya and well, Hell is obviously one of the main ones. But there's a few of them, if you kind of toss a stone in the Norse pantheon, there's a death god or a war god over there. <laughs> and it's just, it's just over there. And it's just, that kind of, men, like that kind of energy just kind of speaks to me more. I mean, yes, I don't work with death a lot, but I'm actually starting to work more with, more with it because Hela has been coming to me a great deal more and I'm just going, oh, okay, this is cool. Um, and then working with Loki himself is very, I didn't think I'd ever, I ever would, but just because I've heard a lot of people go, oh, don't work with Loki. But my experience with him has actually been very pleasant. Um, he has been there for like, when I'm feeling very low or having my anxiety and panic attacks, he's been there to make me smile. Just, just those weird little random things. They just happen and I'm just like, oh, okay. He actually helps me with my anxiety. Actually, a lot of them do. A great deal of them actually help me with my issues with anxiety and depression. And that's something that I need. Not And just help me along with getting over that whole aspect of myself because I do suffer from depression and anxiety for as long as I can remember and if I get really worked up about something I get paranoid about it and it's just my brain goes everywhere because I'm a Virgo I overthink things and just yay <clears throat> and I want to know how many of you actually work with your entire pantheon if you do and even if you've thought about it, just by me telling you my experience, hopefully that will give you like a little push to actually test the waters and see what it would be like to work with everybody. And it doesn't have to be just the Norse pantheon, it could be Greek, Egyptian, or whatever you practice. It's just, working with the entire pantheon has been just wonderful. That's all I can say. And it might not work for everybody, but it definitely works for me. And um, that's where I'm going to leave this video, guys. Um, I will see you in the next video. So blessed be, and I'll see you later. Bye.